another reaction video today. <clears throat> Excuse me, holy fuck. I don't know where that came from. Because it's my fucking birthday and I really want to just do two reaction videos today. Today, second, or right now I should say because I already did a video earlier. Right now I'm going to be reacting to Second Chance Whiskey No More. Now, if you don't know who Second Chance is, y'all need to check him out. This dude is fucking spectacular, okay? Now, I know I say that about a lot of the artists I like, but this dude is so versatile with his music. Like, just think about this. Think about someone that could rap, sing country, and sing R&B. This motherfucker does all three of those. I'm not joking. If you don't believe me, look that name up. Look this name up, Second Chance. You gotta look up um, his R&B music, his country music, and his rap music. Dude, he can do all three, bro. He even did... Uh, a while back, back when the whole MGK, uh, Rap Devil, and Eminem Kill Shot, those two songs were going on, he actually did his own remix of Rap Devil, called Rap Demon, and he fucking whipped ass. I'm not joking. Um, but he does do country music as well. Um, I've listened to his country album, It's uh, a couple of his country albums, they're actually really good. And then he's also done R&B music. And that one, the song called uh, Miss You Bay by him. Oh, dude. That's a 10 out of 10. So now we're going to be reacting to Whiskey No More. I have not heard of this song yet, which makes me sad. But we're going to check it out. Let's full screen this motherfucker. Wait, hold up, hold up. I saw something. Why ain't I subscribed to him? That's That was so weird. I thought I was subscribed to him. Maybe it was the wrong channel. Let's full screen this motherfucker. Let's get this going. fucking dude his voice and everything bro he's just this guy's so talented bro like why isn't he so why isn't he known is what i need to ask because this guy i mean come on bro like this sounds like one of those country songs you'd hear on the radio you know what i'm saying it sounds like one of those country songs that you'd hear everybody listening to like i already love the subject matter of this song this is a really i love i already like how what he's talking about Everything about it is 10 out of 10. If there's a whiskey making me hurt you, baby. Making me fight and drive you crazy. Maybe I'm letting you know you know. Tonight I'm letting me go. Even though I miss that jacket, honey. I'm not letting it snatch you from me. So here's my life. fucking love the strength in this song bro like this make like this song is hitting me straight in the heart bro because like so i know in the subject matter of the song he's talking about a guy trying to change his you know addiction to alcohol his addiction you know um for, you know for drinking a lot you know what i'm saying and 
saying that I want to change. I, I know what it's doing to my family, and it's I don't want this to happen no more. I need to look in the mirror, and God, I need your help. Dude, I can understand that fully, and it's in any situation where you want to change and do better for your life. This guy talks about real shit, and that's why I like him. He talks about anything and everything that's real. No fake bullshit. If you want, hey, I'm going to be honest. On my channel, I react to real shit. I don't listen to no bullshit. Okay? This is like everyday life. I don't listen to no bullshit. I only listen to songs that have meaning. So yeah, I don't listen to Lil Pump. I don't listen to Smoke Perp. I don't listen to all those trash rappers. As you can already tell, I listen to real music. This is a real song about a real problem that we have in this world. And that is alcoholism. sometimes it's too late and then you actually learn your lesson of why you should have changed sometimes it just sometimes it just doesn't get to your head until something actually happens song bro this is a 10 out of 10 you already know what I'm going to do with this I'm going to smack a like on this bro because this this song has so much meaning in it for like people that want to change and don't want to just you know stay the way they are because it's affecting other people you know that I don't care what people think type of thing like it all depends on what you mean by I don't care what people think so like Say you're doing drugs or like heroin or some shit like that and it's affecting your family and you're saying, I don't care what people think. That's just being selfish and ignorant. Or something like this. You have to, ch the, the thing is, you're being toxic towards everybody else. You have to change if you don't want people to view you that way. You feel what I'm saying? Because like, okay, I've viewed how al alcoholism is, okay? I used to, watch my parents drink 24 packs every night when they could get home and yeah I drink right I drink I'm not saying I'm fucking innocent I drink but I don't drink until I'm like shit faced and down on the ground I don't drink until I'm slurring words like I was in you need another beer you know I need another beer you know what I'm saying I'm not doing that that's what I mean like you know, it's it's okay to drink. Like, um, I love beer. I fucking love beer. Like, it's okay to drink. I'm not saying it's not okay to drink, but, like, if you're taking it that far, like how far this guy was in the song, then that's just, yeah, that's, that's toxic to everybody around you, and you shouldn't be doing it. But anyways, guys, check out this guy's second chance. Please subscribe to his channel. Please check out his music. This guy deserves it. He is a. I will be reacting to more of his more of his videos, so you guys can see, you know what I mean by he can do it all. Like the next video, I might even react to Miss You Bay, 
so you guys can figure out how good of a singer he actually is because this is only just part of what he can do but anyways guys make sure to like subscribe and comment you all have a blessed day and remember you fucking better say happy birthday to me you have to be worth them my presence i've been stressing with heavy depression makes me want to grab the smith and wesson but that would be a suicidal message to the young kids trying to get